Hi, and finally, here's a challenging complex number problem from my recent aim. Given f of z is z squared minus 19z, there are complex numbers z with the property that z, f of z, and f of f of z are the vertices of a right triangle in the complex plane with a right angle at f of z. There are positive integers m and n such that one such value of z is m plus root n plus 11i. Find the sum m plus n. Okay, that's a lot of information to absorb, so let's try to draw this out, see what we're dealing with here. So in the complex plane, we have three points. Let's just uh, put z here and f of z here. And we have that f, f of z over here, such that when we connect up these points, we're going to have a right angle at f of z. OK, so it looks like we're trying to establish the condition that these two line segments are perpendicular. And we can represent these line segments as, as differences between the endpoints in much the same way as we construct vectors in the xy coordinate plane by subtracting coordinate values. So let's do that. Let's write this line segment as f of z minus z, and this line segment as f of f of z minus f of z. And the problem statement is that we can get from this line segment to this line segment by performing a 90 degree rotation. So by de Moivre's theorem, a 90 degree rotation can be represented as multiplication by the number i. But there's also a scale factor, because we know that these line lengths don't necessarily have to be the same. So we have to put a real number in front of this to represent the scale difference between these two line segments. Now we also don't know whether it's a positive or a negative 90 degree rotation. So we have to allow the scale factor to take on positive and negative values to account for the positive and negative 90 degree rotations. OK, so this looks like the problem statement here. So let's uh, write this out algebraically. We have that f, f of z minus f of z is equal to ki times f of z minus z. So let's substitute this function in two steps now. So we'll do one step where we'll write this as f of z squared minus 20 f of z, combining the f's of z, is equal to ki, substituting f of z for z squared minus 19, 20z, and Let's pull out an f of z as a factor. Try to simplify this. Looks kind of messy. Minus 20 ki. Let's pull out a z. z minus 20. And let's do the final substitution of f of z into this expression. z times z minus 19 times Let's see, that expands as z squared minus 19z minus 20 is equal to ki z, z minus 20. Get a cancellation for the z's here. And looks like we can factor this, thank god. z minus 19, z plus 1, z minus 20, ki z minus 20, get another cancellation, which makes this a tractical problem. If we didn't get a cancellation here, I would go back and check my algebra. <clears throat> uh, the aim usually doesn't leave you to, to try to struggle with uh, cubic equations, so uh, this is a good checkpoint to make sure that your algebra is correct. Uh, let's see now. This looks to be very complicated to solve for a general z, but we're not asked to solve for a general z. We're asked to solve for a specific form of z. So let's plug in this specific form of z and write this as a z equaling a real number plus 11i. 
So plugging this form into z, we'll have that uh, r minus 19 plus 11i is equal to r plus 1 plus 11i is equal to ki. And if we expand this out, we'll have a condition on the complex part as equaling k and the real part equaling 0. And if we set the real part equal to 0, that should allow us to solve for this uh, parameter r. So expanding this out and just keeping the real part, we'll have that r minus 19, r plus 1, minus 121 is equal to 0, r squared minus 18r minus 140 is equal to 0. Let's pull out the quadratic equation. We'll find that r is equal to plus 18 squared minus 4 times minus 140 all over 2. And if we reduce that down, looks like we're only going to keep the positive root. So we'll have 9 plus root 221. This is the number m in the problem statement. This is the number n. If we sum up m plus n, we'll get uh, 230 for our final answer. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.